My bad. Holy. Sh <laughs> uh. <laughs> I kind of just threw him into my team. I didn't mean to. I'm inting. Whatever. Hey guys, MinishCap1 here, and today we'll be explaining the top five mistakes that every new signature player makes and how to avoid them. If you guys enjoy this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing. And feel free to leave feedback in the comments because this is the first time that I've done a piece of content like this. Horrorfester is the free app for League of Legends that will help you improve. As soon as the game starts to load, Horrorfester pops up and shows you how your teammates have been performing recently, as well as their overall performance on their champion. Horrorfester also gives you in-game timers on your mini-map to maximize your jungling clear efficiency and also knowing where to improve next. The in-game performance tracker also shows you where you're doing well and exactly what you need to improve on. There's even a summoner spell tracker, which you can use to track enemy summoner spells. The best part is that when your teammates have Horrorfester, you can sync all of your timers together. Don't miss out on your chance to improve. Please click on my link in the description or pin comment to download Porofessor for free today. Mistake number one, not using his passive Noxious Slipstream. Singed is a melee champion, but in some ways he's the most melee champ in the entire game. He has zero gap closers and shields, and his fling is the same range as his basic attack, 125. He's also somewhat summoner spell reliant, but to truly make the most of Singed, you have to be very focused on positioning because this is how you spread your poison as far as possible and get the most damage possible. For newer players, this can be pretty tough because they're probably more used to playing champions who tend to rotate cooldowns and autos on one champ at a time, maybe two at a time. But Singed is very different because with Singed, you need to be focused on dealing damage to as many enemy champions as possible all the time. Newer Singe players have a tendency to fling and stand on the easiest target instead of correctly utilizing Singe's passive and running around to spread poison. This takes a lot of skill and practice to know exactly how much damage you can take, but think about it like you're using your health bar as sort of a resource to, to gauge how far into a fight you actually can go. Mastering this technique is really, really important for a growing Singe main because Singe is balanced and designed around dealing damage to multiple targets at once. So if you're only damaging one or two champions at a time, you are, you are underutilizing and not getting the proper amount of value out of Singe's kit. Mistake number two is not using Singe's abilities correctly and using them too often. Each of Singe's abilities have a specific use and can be very powerful when used correctly. New Singed players don't pay enough attention to cooldowns, and they don't use their abilities at the right times to maximize effectiveness. For example, Poison Trail drains 13 mana per second. Now, this doesn't sound like a lot, but because it's Singed's only real DPS tool, learning to conserve mana with Q is very important. Newer Singed players will just turn it on and they'll leave it on way too long, while veteran Singed players will learn how to toggle it on and off at the right times to conserve mana, especially in the early game, it's very important. But here are some helpful tips. If his target is tagged by poison and runs out of it, the poison will last for two seconds total. This is equal to a 0.9% AP ratio because it's 0.45 per second and poison lasts for two seconds. Since enemy champions will always try and move out of poison, the most skilled Singe players know exactly when to turn poison on and off during trades and lane for maximum mana effectiveness. However, it is a bit different when the target is standing still. Targets such as Dragon, Baron, Herald, Jewel Monsters all stand still. The Cloud of Poison lasts on the ground for about 3 seconds whenever you push Q. Knowing that Poison's debuff lasts 2 seconds, you can conserve a lot of mana on Jungle Monsters and objectives by only tapping Poison on and off about every 5 seconds. It's not 100% consistent due to an unfortunate coding error, but it's a different topic for another video. Another big mistake that new Singe players make is just automatically flinging the enemy frontline into their backline. While sometimes it's an easy kill, if the enemy frontliner is very fed or if your own backline is very far behind, this can cause your team to die. Reading the situation correctly is very key, since you can only have one or two flings maximum per team fight in Modern League. There are multiple ways to approach fling, such as flinging the fed enemy Darius away from your team to make it easier for them to kite, or flinging a running Evelyn back into your team to secure a kill. If you approach the fight from a flank, you can often fling the enemy support or AD carry into your team for an easy kill as well. Using Mega Adesip too soon can also be very bad. You need to hold this ability to slow someone who's out of position, or you can use it to deny dashes and flashes. The slow, while it's good, is weaker than it used to be, 
So try to make sure that you gauge the value of your W. Ask yourself at the start of every game, who is my most important target for my W? The Singe's ultimate insanity potion is his most important ability, and new Singe players have a lot of trouble using this one properly. He's balanced around having the bonus stats from his ult available. This is why Singe players should never look for difficult fights when their ult is down. He needs to have this ult available for maximum power. Using it too soon means the enemy can choose to disengage and then just run away. However, if you don't use it soon enough, that means that you're more prone to getting bursted down, or you're more prone to not dealing enough damage because you don't have the stats that you need. The best Singe players know exactly when to use their ultimate. Either using it when you know a fight is about to start, or using it when the enemy uses valuable cooldowns to start a fight, is key. Practice really does make perfect here. Also, I have to say, stop using your fling to last hit minions. Please just save it for cannons. Please, please stop using it to last hit little minions. Mistake number three is proxying too much or not proxying enough. Singe has the ability to proxy farm, meaning that he can farm waves effectively behind the enemy tower. This is one of the most unique aspects of the champion, as he's arguably the only champion who can do this from level one. The best Singe players utilize proxying as a tool, not a crutch. You have to be able to know when to proxy and when not to proxy depending on the map state, and also how to recognize if you're over proxying and not rotating out of the proxy into ganks or objectives. New Singe players tend to have a harder time recognizing what the best moments are to proxy. These moments include when you're versus a ranged top laner, or if you know that the enemy jungler is pathing away from you. Another really good moment is when you want to have a better recall timer than your lane opponent. One of the best ways for Singe to build item advantages in lane is to proxy the wave, recall, and then come back to lane before the enemy top laner has a chance to back or pressure them into saving their recall. You also need to know when not to proxy, such as when the jungler is pathing towards you, or if you would gain more from being in lane and directly fighting your opponent. I have seen so many new Singe players just over proxy until they die over and over, and then ask, Minish Cap, what am I doing wrong? Well, you're, you're dying 30 times. And I also see too many Singe players not fight their lane opponent enough. It really is kind of a balancing act, learning exactly what moves to make in the laning phase, but you have to play chess and make your opponent play checkers, that's the whole idea of early game Singed. I will say because Singed is primarily a top laner, top lane is the most susceptible to early game freezes that can completely push other champions out of the game. However, with Singed it's a bit different. It is true that Singed is especially vulnerable to lane freezes because he doesn't have any ranged wave clear, no shields, and no built-in sustain. However, because Singed can proxy, he has the ability to break freezes by skipping a few minions and farming behind the enemy tower. This can come back to bite you since you have to skip a few minions every time in order to break a freeze like this, but as long as you're careful and pay attention to wave states and it doesn't happen too much, you should be fine. Mistake number four is not adapting to the enemy team's composition. Over and over, I see new Singe players who are building the same items in the same order with the same mythic every single game. While it's true that Demonic and Rhylize are core unsinged, the order in which you buys them changes depending on the game. If the enemy team comp doesn't have big health pools, you can often delay Demonic to second or third item and finish Rhylize for a more useful slow. If the enemy team is more ranged and kite oriented, you can rush a mythic like Rocket Belt first to get in range instead of buying it third like normal. New Singe players ask me all the time for a general rule on what to buy. So here it is. The general rule is that you buy a combination of Demonic plus Rhylize plus Mythic as your first three items. There are tons of variables to this, however, such as buying Demonic into Mythic into Rhylize if you're snowballing or rushing Rhylize for safety in the side lane if you're behind. Knowing what item to buy when is a very important skill for Singe players because he's one of the most versatile champions in the game in terms of how you can build him. Speaking of versatility, knowing what mythic item to buy for which game is also an important skill on Singed. He is currently able to utilize about four mythics super well, those being Riftmaker, Rocket Belt, Jack Show, and Radiant Virtue. Learning to recognize the proper conditions for which mythic to buy can take you very far. If you guys want to know more about this particular subject, however, please check out my video on knowing how to buy the right mythic item. Mistake 5 is not turning on poison. Now, <laughs> This is a mistake that not only new Singe players make, but veteran Singe players, including myself, make all the time. Forgetting to turn Poison on is such a big deal because it is Singe's only DPS tool, but the frustrating part is that this happens to everyone. Sure, Singe has auto attacks and fling, but Poison will always make up the vast majority of his damage, and forgetting to turn it on will completely lose what should have been a one fight. 
However, for you new Singed players out there, there are a couple of ways to help with this in game. One great example is that certain Singed skins have a much louder sound cue when poison is toggled on. The loudest is Snow Day Singed, but this skin is only on sale around the holiday months, so grab it when you can. The second loudest one is Beekeeper Singed, which I believe is on sale year round. Another way is to build the habit of glancing at your ability bar, which will show a border around your queue when poison is toggled on. For those of us, however, who have been playing for many years before this border was implemented, it can be very hard to learn to look, but even I'm slowly getting better about this. At the end of the day, however, you could get hit with the dreaded poison cancel bug. The poison cancel bug is a bug related to inputs, which prevents your poison from turning on. The bug happens when Singe places W down on the ground, then right clicks for movement, and hits the Q button to turn on poison. Something about using W and then immediately moving causes poison to very reliably not turn on whenever you hit Q. I've reported this bug to Riot multiple times, but they still haven't fixed it, sadly. The reason why this bug is such a big deal is that when Singe turns poison on, it's very telegraphed that he intends to fight. So when you're dancing around an objective, such as Dragon or Baron, versus the enemy team, you want to keep poison off until a definite fight breaks out. It can be game breaking and game losing to have that perfect moment to start a fight, only to start losing and realize that your poison was off the entire time. I've personally lost many games because of this bug, and I really do hope that Riot fixes it soon. Well guys, those are my 5 mistakes that new Singed players make. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. I don't normally make this type of video, but I have to admit it was an absolute blast putting myself in the shoes of a new Singed player and remembering what it was like for me back in the day learning how to play this champion for the first time. I hope this also gives some insight for aspiring mad chemists to help along your journey. Once again guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider downloading the Professor app for free using my link in the pinned comment or description. Your support really does go a long way, so thank you.